I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Tom Bin Brain Bag. I've been testing this bag for the last two weeks, and we'll leave a link down in the description below to check out the full written review over on packhacker.com as well. Let's dive in. This is the black 525 ballistic nylon and the exterior of the brain bag here. And a lot of things Tom Bin makes are super durable. They use high quality materials. You know, you got YKK zippers, uh, durable material on the outside, and then either Duraflex or Wujin plastic buckles here. So they're always using these high quality materials in everything that they do. So let's do a quick tour of the bag, starting with the outside here on the front. One of the most interesting things, at least to me on this bag, is this little umbrella kind of cinch area. You can put an umbrella here or a rain jacket. So let me pull this out so you can get a full look. This is the Blunt Metro umbrella. I like how low, low profile and compact it is. But there is basically this little cinch strap up here at the top. And then there's this kind of little area at the bottom here where you can fit things inside. So if you have something cylindrical, or I mean, you can stuff a rain jacket in here too and pull it down. Uh, there's also another loop here as well. So you could adjust this, you know, put this into a loop below to make it a little bit more shallow if you wanted to. Um, and then like kind of tighten that up right there again with a strap. So I really appreciate uh, that modularity. This is a feature that I haven't really seen in a lot of bags either. So I like that little area for the umbrella. I also like this clip right here, this Duraflex clip. Typically I'll have a carabiner on the outside of bags to hang up a hat or something if I'm biking. No need to do that here as this is kind of just built directly into the bag. There is a water bottle pocket here. I've got this uh, Yeti Rambler on the inside. Now one thing to note with the water bottle pocket is it's not super tight. There's no elasticity here and uh, it fits the Yeti Rambler decently well. I mean, it's still kind of loose. It doesn't really grab onto it with any of that elasticity. Um, but you know, you're not going to fit your Nalgene in there either. So just note that. And then Tom Bin logo on this side, nothing too crazy going on. Um, so flipping it over, we have these nice compression straps on the sides. Um, you know, they work well. Again, you can stick a yoga mat or a rain jacket in here on the side and it just cinches the bag down, makes it a little more low profile if it is not filled up. Same with the other side. There you go, some just different fabric down here. It looks like a higher denier down here and a lower denier up top. So this looks like a 1080D. This looks like that 525. Um, so just little fabric details there, a little bit more uh, kind of robust tensile strength here at the bottom of the bag as well. So flipping that over, we have the harness system here. I really love Tom Bin straps. It's got this very thick Eva foam. It's very comfortable to wear. Uh, not much of a frame sheet on the back of this one, but it does have some air mesh or just some mesh back here for some added breathability. But you can see it's not super stiff carry. That's been totally fine with this bag and it hasn't really affected my experience at all in the two weeks of testing. Uh, but just note that there's no frame sheet in it. Uh, just right out of the box when you buy it on the website. Tom Bin does a great job at offering like accessories, like additional frame sheets, additional additional pouches, uh, you know, additional straps for modularity, things like that. Uh, but it didn't have that for this one while we were testing. Uh, so now there's a waist strap down here at the bottom. These are removable with gatekeeper buckles. It's not really a padded hip belt, so it'll just help kind of keep the bag in place. But other than that, nothing to crazy and then just pretty standard uh, adjusters here no way to manage the straps here but tom bin again like i was just saying earlier they do sell these cheaper strap keepers that you can wrap around yourself so that's always nice like if if you like bags tom bin is a great brand so you can kind of get into all those little nuances and details sternum strap here no frills does the job well um, totally worked for me in my testing all right, so now let's get on the interior of this bag. We're gonna start with these front pockets here on the front. So on this side, we just unzip this down. Oop, a little bit hard to get into that zipper up there as you saw, but totally works. Moleskin notebook in here that I've been holding on to, and then a Sharpie on the inside. Similar to the water bottle pocket, another Field Notes notebook. 
no stretch going on here, but there is a bit of organization. So there's kind of this back pocket. I've also got a spork down there. This back pocket here where you can kind of slide stuff in. And in front of that, four areas for pens. Just a, other than that, just a pretty big pocket. You have these O-rings here where you can attach Tom bin accessories and uh, things of that nature. So zipping this pocket back up, we're opening the one up on the other side here. So flip that open. And then we have, just like I said before, we have this ghost whale pouch from Tom Bin attached right here to this O-ring. So I can pull that off and show you putting it back on. It's just ni nice that Tom Bin offers that. They have these O-rings all over their bags for customizability. I've been using this side behind the water bottle pocket for my tech gear. So I've got my outlet splitter there. So just a couple more tech items, little cord dongles, things of that nature. Typically I'd use a pouch but I just wanted to kind of test it in here without anything inside. And then in front of that, we have two more pen pockets near the back and then one kind of larger pocket for something that's a little bit larger on the larger side. So something like, you know, this, if I wanted to keep that separate, I would toss that in there. And again, other than that, just pretty much a big pocket. And this bag is just pretty beastly altogether. Like, I feel like if you're comparing it to the Synapse, this thing is just kind of like a big tank of a bag that you just fill up. We'll get to the main compartments in a second. And like the Synapse and the Cynic are like a little more streamlined, a little smaller, um, a little more organizational. Now we have this top part up here. That's just great for like wallet keys. There's a lash strap here to, to attach your keys to. You know, wallet keys, anything that you would typically hold in your pockets, really ample space up top here. No liner in there, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to see black on black with this colorway. We usually appreciate when bags have liners, but uh, Tom Bin uh, doesn't, doesn't have that with this one in the brain bag. Um, you know, normally you'll have that like blue uh, Halcyon material that you see on the inside of here. So if you look at our Cynic review, I can't remember the color we have in there, but there's this like colorful grid kind of rip stop. Uh, kind of color in there that makes it really easy to see the gear inside not the case with this And then there's this little flap on top, which just kind of helps um, You know repel moisture That's not going to get in there and I think it just improves the look as well um, Now there are two other pockets on this bag the main pockets if we unzip the first one You can see here that we do kind of we can kind of slide under those compression straps But they are obstructed by the zippers no pulls on these but uh the brain bag did, did come with the Tom Bin zipper pulls. And again, modularity, Tom Bin. We are able to add those after ourselves if we want a little bit more of a pull there. Now this opens up in a horseshoe fashion. I'm just gonna unbuckle these top ones just to show you. Opens up in a horseshoe fashion down to here. So that's kind of the extent at which this opens up. And then I've just got some Heim Planet packing cubes inside of here just to kind of show you what I can fit on the interior here. And then as usual, we have the O-rings here. And then we have these two little areas uh, up top here, which is for like the laptop uh, cache, if you want to attach that. And we actually have the laptop cache in the back, which I'll show you in a second. Just again, pretty big tanky area here. I like to have the gray liner. It's a little bit easier to see your stuff on the inside. Um, I'll also open up this main compartment that opens up horseshoe style as well, about halfway down the bag. And this, Again, we got O-rings on the inside here at the top and the sides and the bottom. And then this is where our laptop goes. So this is the laptop cache sold separately. Uh, they do uh, create the laptop cache in pretty much every single size of Apple device there is. So it's a really snug fit. But when I've had it inside of here, I've kind of felt it just feels a little weird because it's, I don't know if it's because it's floating around in this main compartment or if it's just not quite secure, like if you have a built-in laptop pocket, just always feels a little weird when I'm using this. Um, but I think Tom Bin does this because the benefit is you get an exact fit for your laptop. You know, it, it can be suspended in the bag, so it's protected kind of in the middle of the bag, protects it from unexpected drops. Um, and then on the other hand too, as laptops upgrade, things change sizes, you know, this will always work. And then if you're going through security, it's supposed to be TSA compliant. So you just kind of flip this out and then um, bring it through airport security. Now that works well, as long as whatever else you have on the inside of this compartment is easy to take out like these packing cubes and just put into the bin 
um, or, or leave them inside. You know, if you have like a bunch of clothes in here and you pull this out and then your shorts and your boxers and your socks just like go everywhere, it's not quite that slick motion, right, that you see here. Now the brain bag is advertised on their site to carry like, you know, one to two to four laptops. So, you know, you just have, it's just, it's just again, it's like a tank of a bag. You just have a lot of space here. You can kind of see that padding coming through. So no frame sheet here in the back, like I mentioned earlier, but there is some pretty dense, dense padding here. I would say about a half inch, it feels like, just from feeling it. So it does have a little bit of structure even without a frame sheet, which I do appreciate. I think this bag is a great comfortable carry as I've been testing it. And uh, like if we look at the Aeronaut in comparison, that's a little bit of a different carry. And I think this one, is a little bit better and more comfortable, at least in my testing. So there you have it. This has been the Tom Bin Brain Bag. Make sure to head over to packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options that help support the channel at no additional cost to you. Thanks for checking this out. Link down below. We'll see you in the next video.